side of midnight. Which brings us to the 88 revolution. May I introduce Simon, Steve and Terry, the editorial board of Boys Own. We wanted to waive the new issue, but it's not ready yet. No, this time next week. This hopefully. time next week. All right, the new issue will be out. I haven't been on the streets for six months. Quite a while away, haven't you been? Yeah, quite a while. All right, now, you were implying to me that this new edition is a bit of moaning about mm. the way the AH scene has developed. Mm -hmm. Go on, explain to me what you're moaning about. Well, it just seems that um, compared to what it was at the beginning, the more people are into it for the money. Is it is a case of just for the pure headness and going out and enjoying yourself and meeting people. There's far too much money being made by people that wouldn't have normally been about. And I don't think everyone's getting the value for money. They're just being rammed into these sort of warehouses uh, for like 15 pounds, having to chase across half the country, you know. It's from more, London to it's Milton more like, Keynes. More quantity and quality at the moment. So it's definitely in London. But, but if people are having a great time, even if it is costing them whatever it costs them, and it's, what would you say, one pound fifty for a Pepsi? Yeah, mm. yeah. But people are having a great time. What can you expect? What can you expect? Could you expect anything else? Well, I think, I think people can aim their sights a little bit higher. You know, with anything. People can be a bit more if choosy so. about where they're doing. If people were a bit more choosy about where they were going to go, they wouldn't be going to these uh, huge affairs. You know, there'd be more, there'd be much more smaller little places if, to go to, and if, you'd get much better atmosphere. If in the there. scene, if the scene, like whether you call it acid house or deep house or whatever, is is going to last, it's going to have to be. There's going to have to be more quality there. Because people uh, want it to last, and they care for and what's people going quality. on. They feel affinity with it. Well, people than just do making care. Money out of it. Yes, but there are always, I mean, we talked about 56, 63, 76. Now, I'm not being silly. I mean, I think we all think that what's happened in the last year and a half is as important as those things. But the money men always come in. Someone's always going it, to... It's just the way it develops. It's sad, but it seems to me inevitable. Aren't you just fighting against the, the sea? Well, really, yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you in, a in a nutshell. In a nutshell. But the money men seem to be more up front and on the street as opposed to before. It may have been sort of in the, the music business they were developing, it's they're making more money out of it, whereas it's sort of people we know that are actually making more money. It's totally open, you know. So th there's people totally making, you're making I mean, thousands of pounds. There's people making like tens of thousands of pounds, uh, giving people absolute rubbish, and they're not guilty about it. There's no shame. They never, know. they never had been any shame. Let's talk about the other things that are developing. The music. I mean, we're sitting here with a man who I was told about half an hour ago. Do you realise I'm sitting with the DJ's DJ? Who's that? You. Am I? Right, how's he? Yes, the DJ. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, well rated, Terry. Yeah, well rated. Yeah. So uh, it's it's true, is it? That's that's the word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How's the music developing? Uh, well, I don't know. When when I first got into it, I mean, the word balearic was used, which meant basically you could play play like the wooden Anything. tops next to uh, a record by C.C. Rogers. I think it's all narrowing down now. Uh, for for instance, the Happy Mondays. I think like at the future, we're probably the only club in London playing it. That's why I went to see you playing there last week, because I heard you played it. Whereas uh, six months ago, uh, the Wooden Tops, why, 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 was uh, Happy Mondays. There's, there's not as much openness there. No. Everyone's narrowing no. down a no. bit. What about the culture itself? I found in London, I mean, everywhere you go, you get, you get strip searched at doors and stuff into clubs. Is that what's happening now? Yeah. yeah Standard policy. Why, yeah. why have they started that? Steve? Because of violence and for drugs. It seems, it seems very tight, but are people are still continuing. It seems much looser in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. People are just paranoid about the uh, the club runners are much paranoid about being closed down because most of them are illegal, and because they're so sort of public now, they um, they see this anti-drug thing like searching everyone on an established club in a, a proper venue. They're still searching. Them, Might right? be a case of suffering because it's in the capital city as well. Mm. Well, we love it when you suffer in the capital city. <laughs> the last little area, although you're moaning about the money men this time, you've still. I mean, th this magazine of yours has pollinated uh, what's been happening in a brilliant way. Am I right in referring to it as a revolution? Do you think it has been? In many ways, yeah. Uh, to a certain extent, this. Yeah. I yeah, don't see the anti-violence part of it has yeah. been quite a revolution. Attitudes have softened. Yeah. Uh, especially amongst you know most of the people involved in the, in the house scenes in Manchester and London are ex-football boys it's good who now, who now get on uh, as well as well. ever yeah. going to be expected. We're we'll stopping there because I know that some Millwall lads and Manchester lads went to a party a few weeks ago yeah. and nothing went off. It's amazing, isn't it? Thank you. Let's get the new one on the streets next week, and we'll see you again maybe in the autumn. Thank you very much. Thank I mean, I love this magazine. Uh, next week, we're going to feature three established monsters of the modern music industry, Tikoi, Gerald, and a group he just mentioned. So therefore, we thought we'd balance the load tonight on this, our last studio show, with an unknown group. They're just getting going. This is their eighth gig. They're called Sandmen, and this is, what else could it be? Uh, summer of Goat Love. <laughs>